What up guys? It's your boy Bones and I'm back with a movie haul. So I just came back from training so I want to get this uh, movie haul out of the way. So let's just get into it. Um, I only picked up one Blu-ray and most of these uh, DVDs were 80 cents or a dollar. But I did get uh, some comedy, some old school stuff, and uh, a very little bit of horror. But that's what that's what was out there. So let's do it. First, I picked up. I have this movie on DVD. I think I have like two or three versions, but I don't have it on Blu-ray. And since uh, we're getting we're creeping closer and closer to uh, the holiday seasons uh, I went ahead and picked up Screw on Blue uh, this is a great movie um, seen it hundreds of times I watch it every every year on Christmas but this time I watch it on Blu-ray with uh, Bill Murray uh, Bobcat Goldthwait. Um who else is in this mm the girl from Superman. Uh, I want to say Karen Allen. I want to say Carrie Fisher, but yeah, Karen Allen. So uh, that's Scrooge. Oh, it's you, creep. God, aren't you supposed to be in the studio? We're on the air. Hey, back off, big man. I may work with the checks, but not with me. Is this straight? Great, great movie. I watch it every year in the holidays. Now, in the same token, I got, I've never seen this before, so this will be, well, I'm gonna have to wait till the holidays to watch it, but uh, it's getting close, so it's not that bad. But if I like it, I'll look for it on, on uh, Blu-ray. But it's a uh, Krampus. I know it has the guy from um, Step Brothers, the brother. And uh, the guy from uh, Anchorman. Uh, I, he's an actor. He comes out in a lot of movies. I know he's the manager in uh, Waiting. Uh, he's like bald, but uh, I don't know his name. But I'll check this out, see if it's any good. Was pretty freaky up next uh, I if I see a what is this a full moon I usually pick them up I have like a, a good stack of full moon like original releases but at first I thought this was a doll man because it has the same actor uh, Tim Thomerson but I, I was surprised that it has Helen Hunt in it but it's a uh, tracers transfers Two, transfers Two. So, and I have to look for transfers one. Oh well, add it to the collection. We have an emergency care requirement. I'm not gonna take it. it turns you into one of them zombies. I'm out of here. Stop them! Don't let them get away. Man, I did that hundreds of times in the psych ward. Up next, this is just, I mean, I think this was 80 cents. So I just bought it, you know, check it out. Freeze frame? I liked it because it looks kind of weird. It's like in black and white. So check it out. Hmm, never know. Add it to the collection. Um, this is one of those Starlight Signature series. And... These are like weird, uh, obscure movies, and I usually pick them up. But this one has uh, Linda Hamilton. So I went ahead and picked it up. Sex and Mrs. X. 
Mm -hmm. I have a bunch of these movies, the, the Starlight Signature Series, so mm -hmm. I'll put it in there. And then, this is like another obscure, you know, weird movie. Um, Diane Ladd, Hush Little Baby. I guess it's kind of like Hand That Rocks the Cradle or something like that, but eh, I'll check it out. And then I went old school. I have Cary Grant and Grace Kelly in To Catch a Thief. I have a pretty big collection of like classic Hollywood. This has the insert. But, uh, eh, check it out. Add it to a collection. And then this, I've never seen it anywhere, but I know it's like old school Hollywood. But it's Greta Garbo and Anna Christie. Mm, old school Hollywood. Check it out. Add it to the collection. This one, I saw it and I didn't really want to pick it up. But it has Sir Alec Guinness, who is, uh, isn't that Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars? And it's The Prisoner. But then I read it and there's a, actually a, here in the front, there's a Nazi. So... Add it to the Noxie collection. Now this, I picked, <laughs> I think this was uh, 80 cents. So I went ahead and picked it up. But I picked it up mainly because I seen this in school when I was like in eighth grade. And it just always has like, you know, memories for me. But uh, it's an all right movie. I mean, yeah, you know, killing a bunch of Mexicans, but John Wayne and the Alamo. I think he plays a uh, Davy Crockett, and it's about when the they made the last stand at the Alamo against General Santa Ana. Then later on, they went to battle in uh, other places, and they would say, "Remember the Alamo." So. I never seen this, but I want to see it to see if it's any good. Uh, Black Mass with Johnny Depp. Check it out. Add it to the crime drama collection. And then this looks pretty interesting. It's Samuel L. Jackson, motherfucker, and some skinny chick, Kite, Killer Justice. Mm. Looks like crazy uh, action. She's kicking some guy in the face on there. So check it out. This I just picked it up to add to the the movie co I mean the music collection. I know I've never seen it, never heard of it. The Mayor of Sunset Strip. I think it talks about like the club scene in uh, L.A., which is like uh, the Whiskey Go Go and all, where the door started and all that. So, uh, I think it's about a guy that's been there the whole time, from like the beginning till like now. So, check it out. Uh, I have this, but I have the, uh, like the, the, re the actual like MGM release, like it, it's just a different cover, that's it. But, uh, it's kind of funny, if, if you watch it, I've seen it a couple times. It's kind of funny, like you just gotta be sick. But it's Amos and Andy. No, Amos and Andrew. Uh, what's his name? Nicholas Cage and Samuel L. Jackson, motherfucker. <sighs> this I picked up because I I I kind of like um, Martin Short, and he's only made like certain movies. And, like, right now he's taking, like, a big leave from Hollywood. But I like, like, Clifford and uh, Pure Luck with Danny Glover. But this one has one i never seen, Cross, Cross My Heart. And it also has uh, Fierce Creatures, Opportunity Knocks with Dana Carey. And uh, Splitting Airs. But uh, I want to see that uh, Martin Short movie. So add it to the comedy collection. 
And then, I don't know why, but like, I think I had picked up, I had picked up this, and then I picked up that after. But this is splitting errors, but like by itself, with um, uh, Rick Moranis from Ghostbusters, a uh, bunch of other classic comedy movies. I am the gatekeeper. Uh, this is a Disney release, and I don't know why I picked it up. I think I seen parts of it, like on cable, but I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. 80 cents. Heavyweights? Like, uh, kids go to fat camp. Don't fat shame me. Now, this, I only picked it up because it, it was an A&E DVD, but, um, it might give me the creeps if I watch it late at night. The Wind in the Willows. Talking Frogs. Uh, I used to watch this with my little brother like a long time ago. But I know Wallace and Gromit's like pretty funny. But I pretty much picked this one up because it's the curse of the were rabbit. So it's like <laughs> right up my alley. Some claymation action. Actually, these are pretty cool. They're pretty funny. They have a lot of uh, detail in, you know, what they do. Um, I used to watch this on HBO, like, when I was real little. But I think I tried to watch it, and I never really understood it. Uh, I know there's a Blu-ray release of it. But uh, I don't have it yet. So, picked this up. I think this was a buck. But, a buckaroo bonsai. with uh, Robocop, uh, Peter Weller. I think it has the insert. Yeah. But I know there's a Blu-ray release of this. But I'll watch it to like refresh on my memory and then maybe I, I might get the Blu-ray. Check it out. And this is the last movie I got this haul. But the reason I picked this up is because I remember watching the other version that I have and at the end, at, there's a part in the movie where like certain music comes out and it's different. Like at the very end when the girl comes out at like uh, another school in front of all the gym class, it's uh, they play like the weird science music. I think. Or what is it? Yeah, I think it's the weird science music. But in this one, they play uh, the Rocky theme. So just for that little difference, I want to see the, the two versions. But it's uh, weird science, the flashback edition. And actually, this is a great movie. I mean, I, I've seen it hundreds of times since I was a kid. It has uh, Anthony Michael Hall, uh, his friend. I'm not sure what the actor's name is. I don't think he like really acted anymore. I think he became a teacher. Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kelly LeBrock. She used to be married to Steven Seagal. Um, there's a bunch of people in here. Uh, Bill Paxton, can't forget him as Chet, you know, the annoying older brother. Um, there's a part where the Bennett from Commando comes out, and he's like a, like in the Road Warrior character that he played in Road Warrior. Uh, and then uh, the guy from uh, Pluto from Hills Have Eyes comes out. I don't know his name, but he's that bo like crazy bald looking guy. Uh, and also the girl from Friday the 13th, the final chapter, the one that goes uh, skinny dipping by herself. She's in here too. But uh, that's it for this haul, guys. Um, nothing really great, but you got to keep hunting. You got to keep looking for movies. You never know when you'll get something good. But uh, see you next time. It's um, just a few friends. How come? Two unpopular dicks like you is having a party. I don't know. I mean, I guess I was just asking myself that very question. And unlike Dick, sometimes no, the weirdest very dicks, sad. You know, I, don't, I don't know. How would you like all your friends here to know that you wear a bra on your head? <laughs> Thank you.
Hi. 